good news, yo. I was actually a part of this, so I felt honored, dog. Word. Tyler the Creator eclipses J. Cole as Call Me If You Get Lost Tour earns over $30 million. Let's go. $30 million over 30 shows. Oh, no, no, no. I think it's 30 shows. Maybe 31 shows. Maybe 29. But that's that's grossing roughly a million dollars a show. Hell yeah, bro. Bro. Nah, that's blessings, yo. So right now he is the number one touring artist post-pandemic. But You're like the only touring artist, nigga. Post I'm, I'm, yeah, that, that's the only thing. It's like the only person he's surpassing right now that is doing numbers is J. Cole. And J. Cole Stevens didn't dream Dreamville yet. Well, Dreamville he, he did uh he did the off season. Well, the album wasn't really that great. He should have took that season off too. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, that was Ozzy. That was Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you who's gonna pass that. The weekend when he does when he starts his world tour, yeah, because he's doing stadiums, dog. The weekend, the weekend is R and B for me, but for the mainstream, he's pop. Tyler the Creator did that motherfucking. You made my earthquake. Oh yeah, you think that's pop? I mean, it's for mainstream, right? They categorized it as hip hop. <laughs> And that's why he was mad in the Grammys. That shit is ridiculous, bro. Yeah. But, well, do they categorize uh, The Weeknd as pop or, or R&B? I think it's pop. I think they categorize him as pop. I think... Uh, it's not pop, though. I feel like it's R&B. I, I think mean, it's Doja Cat, too. She's pop? I think so. And and on the Joe Budden podcast, they were making that that realization that Doja Cat she does like R and B rapping and like a little bit of pop, like the yeah, EDM yeah, shit. She so like she's multi, like yeah, she's multi uh, genre. Uh, people out here that like, gotta do that shit. I I don't man. Yeah, I ain't even, I ain't gonna talk about other people, but um. But no, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to Tyler Creator. That was one of the most incredible shows I've seen. I think Igor was better. I'm not going to lie. But this show was incredible. You can actually see it on Amazon. I want to say Amazon Video. What's that shit called? Oh, Amazon word. Prime yeah. Video? Amazon yeah. Videos. Uh, it's like an hour and a half long. But it's definitely worth it. Like I, I played it like twice already just to get that that refill Relive, yeah, Relive yeah. That shit. but it doesn't have the openers though that was the only thing like i was used like i i watched vince staples kali uchis and damn and you see vince staples i said kali uchis that's that's Yo, more, bro oh, I'm telling you she, she she's the future uh, let's fade right out of the episode. 